All right, what we have here is a pair of intersecting lines with this given information. And we have to use this information to determine the values of x and y. Now, a couple of things that we should know about intersecting lines is that angles on complete opposite sides are equal to each other. We call those vertical angles. And the ones right next to each other, when two lines are intersecting, form supplementary angles. So this angle here and this angle here together form a 180 degree angle or a straight angle. So what we're going to do is take this expression here and this x right here, and we're going to add them together and set that sum equal to 180 degrees. So what we're going to do is write 6x plus 19, which represents this obtuse angle right here, and add that to this acute angle here represented by x, and say that the sum of those two angles is equal to 180 degrees. Now all we have to do is isolate the x to figure out what it is equal to. So let's take 6x plus this 1x here and write that as 7x and just slide down this constant of 19 and set that equal to 180 degrees. Now we're going to take this positive 19 and do the opposite, which is to subtract 19 from both sides. And that ends up giving us 161. And that leaves us with 7 times x over here on the left. And now what we have to do is divide both sides by 7. And 161 divided by 7 is 23. So we already figured out that x is equal to 23 degrees. And now we have to figure out what y is. Now we know that this angle here and this angle right here are supplementary to each other. And whatever y is equal to, this expression up here is equal to the same thing. So we could do this one of two ways. We could either take this 6x plus 19 and substitute x with 23, because we already solved for x, we know what that is. Or what we can do is we can take 180 degrees and we can subtract from that 23 degrees because we know these two angles right here are supplementary. So we could figure out what y is either by solving for this and just saying that y is vertical to this, so they're equivalent, or we know that 23 plus whatever this is equals 180. Therefore, we take 180 minus 23. So if we take 180 minus 23, that ends up giving us 157 degrees. Or if we do 6 times 23, that ends up giving us 138 plus 19 more. And when you add these together, you also get 157 degrees. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Till next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math. Thank you.